women. Can't, can't live with them, can't live without them. They do be shopping. You're the asshole. What, for what? For making a joke? Oh, it's illegal to tell the truth and tell jokes now? The joke could be like, women love sushi. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole joke. <laughs> they do be loving sushi. They won't let me say it, but you can say it. Probably because you just assumed that all monsters are men, you sexist. They love sushi, man. By the way, I watched a movie, Women Talking. Surprise, you know what they talk about? What to order from the sushi restaurant. You know what she's thinking? She's she's hoping that they're serving some sushi on, on the train a little later. It's the same thing, like my wife has me pegged. Anyone else here married? <laughs> Let me guess, like once a week, she's like, what do you want to have for dinner? And then he's like, um, pizza. And she's like, I don't really feel like pizza. How do you feel about sushi? That's all I'm saying. Here's the thing, boys rule, girls drool. Listen, I don't know if this is true. I'm trying hard to beat the casual misogyny allegations, okay? Certified man moment. Well, woman up before man? I would have, so I could finally get some peace and quiet. Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> women love sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Tell me I'm wrong. That's actually sexist, okay? It's not like the sushi bit that's fake sexism. That's actually sexist. No, Kate is very tidy. I don't need to do a Kate desk audit. The only, there's two things and they're so minor, but I feel the need to strike back. So I'm gonna strike back, okay? One is when she's drinking a bottled beverage and this drives me crazy, she never puts the cap back on the bottle when she's not drinking it. Which I think would be fine if she drank like a 300 milliliter bottle in like 10 minutes. But instead she'll take like, she'll drink like a third of the bottle and then leave the bottle sitting on like the coffee table without the lid on it for like half an hour or something like that. And I know you're gonna be like, well, just don't spill. But here's the thing, nobody ever expects themselves to spill. I'm not gonna say that one time she did turn a Soylent upside down into her purse because it didn't have the cap on it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna out her like that. What's the second thing? Well, I'm not gonna say that when she's done drinking like a Soylent bottle, I'm not gonna say that she takes it down from her room to the kitchen island and leaves it on the island rather than throwing it in the recycling bin, which is literally uh, one foot away from the island. I'm not gonna say it, cause I mean, I, I'm not trying to make any enemies out here. I said it was minor. My wife does these exact same things. <laughs> Women. <laughs> can't, can't live with them, can't live without them. They do be shopping. You're the asshole, <laughs> what, for what? <laughs> for making a joke? Oh, it's illegal to tell the truth and tell jokes now? How about find Canada's Walk of Fame inductees? I th this will shock you. One of the things that Canadians are the best at is telling you who's Canadian that you thought was American. I mean, like, every single person on this list is Canadian. Can you believe this? We got Leonard Cohen. We got Seth Rogen. Wayne Gretzky, you probably already knew that one. Michael J. Fox, Alanis Morissette, Mike Myers. Now, this is a contentious one because Alexander Graham Bell, we claim him as Canadian. Technically, he was born in Scotland, I think. But we, uh, we, we claim him as a Canadian because I think he invented the phone in Nova Scotia. We can share him, Scotland. It's okay. We got Sandra Oh. We got Steve Nash, Alex Trebek, Nelly Furtado, William Shadner, Pam Pamela Anderson, Hold the Lee, Drake, Leslie Nielsen, Celine Dion, Jim Carrey, Martin Short, Rachel McAdams, and Neil Young. We got them all, man. I'm not even going to do the quiz. Like, that's... It, it's an insult to even go through it. Find the women's... Hall of Fame inductees. I've decided that this one's too easy too, so I'm not gonna do this one. <laughs> take, me, take me back, take me back. <laughs> I knew that, there were many women on that list I knew. Lucille Ball and etc. Sorry, this is an eight win run. You got hater energy. Just like the, is it, who's the guy from, um, is it Liam from One Direction? Who's new, um, his new thing is just talking about how much he hates everybody else in One Direction. That's, that's Liam. 
is like Zayn Malik is like doing stuff. Harry Styles is one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Liam Payne is going on podcasts and, and just shit talking everybody. Shit talking his friends that he was in the biggest band in the world with for a while. That's Niles. Niles is not an open shit talker. Niles might have an incisive barb um, behind your back, but mostly that's just because he's so repressed because, I mean, you would be too if you had to deal with Maris all day. You know that Frazier Crane and Niles Crane were too rich because they married two women named Maris and Lilith, which is just like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm not big on stereotypes necessarily, but I think if you name your child Maris, well, nowadays people would just be like, whoa, you must be a big fan of Frasier. But if you named your child Maris in like the early 1960s or something like that, you had too much money. I used to have the biggest crush on Niles. Okay, Maris. Still a fun one. I mean, I was a little distracted. I was thinking about Maris. Does Maris ever show up on the on the show? Maris, Frasier, fan art. <laughs> That's not... Is that Maris or is that Lilith? I don't know if she shows up on... She never shows up on the show. Viewers never see the character. Hang on. I'm loading Frasier.fandom.com. It's taking a long time to load. There must be like 10 embedded streams in the background on it. Viewers never seen the character, but are inclined to create their own image of her form, especially using the vivid explanations given by anyone who has met her, above all her husband. The true source of Maris's family fortune is only discovered by Niles during the divorce proceedings. Let's see some quotes. I, Niles. This is so classic. Niles. <clears throat> I don't mind telling you we pushed our beds together that night. And that is no mean feat. Her room, as you know, is across the hall. <laughs> oh, how droll. How droll, Niles. Will Maris be joining us? Sadly, no. She had a bad experience there one Christmas Eve. The Italian soccer team was at the next table. Maris announced that she was in the mood for a goose. And perhaps, inevitably, tragedy ensued. <laughs> What a delightful bone mo. I thought Maris was joining us. Oh no, I'm afraid Maris is having one of her episodes. In the middle of dressing for the evening, she suddenly slumped down on the edge of the bed in her half slip inside. Of course I knew then and there that dinner was not to be. <laughs> oh man. It's classic. Delightful quip. Look, you see that rotund woman coming out of chock full of donuts? What the hell? What? Niles? N I thought Niles was like, uh, I thought he was based. Watch, before she gets to her car, she'll finish that bear claw, then go back in. This is her third time. Niles, it's her... B Roz, you called us over to show us that? It's rude. Frazier, it's childish. Niles, it's Maris. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh. What, when did the Maris jokes turn so rude? It used to be like they just didn't get along that well. Niles, it's Maris. At least I think it is. You need a bigger peephole? What the hell happened to... Niles is... This was divorce Niles when he was, he was going through it. He was listening to the wrong kind of podcast. He, he didn't have good male role models in his life. He had a lot of anger. He was working through some stuff. Anyway... Come on, Niles. You're you're better than that. You could be you, you could be more incisive without resorting to personal attacks like that. I love misogyny. Disguise this comedy. Excuse me. It's not misogyny. She's not nice. <laughs> we never meet Maris or hear, hear her side of the story at all, but how could it be misogyny if she's if she's mean according to according to Niles. That's not that's not misogyny. Yeah, she's married. It's misogyny. Oh. 
Brazil I'm is like 800 years in the lead, and it's pissing me off. World record! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I? World record! Thank you. I was going way too fast at the start. I was yeah, like, I did, I, yeah, I, yeah. I did not he know did, the timing on this. I went very fast. No, me. I got world record. Look, world record. <laughs> I don't see all WR on mine. Yeah, sorry, I, I got don't WR. see it on mine either. I'm sorry. Does someone care about me? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll just get it again. Oh, you have to do it again. Right, I forgot. Oh fuck. Oh. We got no excuse now. Well, no, now you have uh, men's uh, back. Uh, I'm back more familiar with, down, with the male anatomy. Oh, and how come to on. Use they, it. they like, they tape this shit. Go, 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 go. It's I helping. Missed, go. It's I helping. Go. I missed go. one stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't fuck up. Oh, oh go. Oh, oh. oh, God. You got hit. Hey, hey. World record! World record again! <laughs> <laughs> World record! <laughs> well, it's kind of problematic that the men were like so much faster than the women in the 100 meter breaststroke. <laughs> what is men. Sega you're trying to you're say? Trying what is Sega trying to say? Ground. They programmed the men to be like 3% faster? Why are you inviting this fucking oh. dialogue? It's not me, dude, right it's now. Sega! It's Sonic, it's a little blue devil. <laughs> If I was making the game, I'd make the women faster. Uh -huh. Okay, dude. Get it. You wanna get on Joe Rogan? Like it's fine. Name bookended by forty across. Mats. That's a name. Don't say it's not a name. We got lots of Swedes who watch the show. Parody spoof. Mendesim. Reso matrimonial vows I do virtuoso Mars is not a name Mars is a name if you are in ancient Rome it's not a name in the real world what about Bruno Mars it's an assumed pseudonym it's like saying XAE-12 Theta Sigma is a name my friend's name is Mars. How did you make friends with them when they're homeschooled? Answer me. Was it fencing class? Sandra D. That seems right. I see it. 42 down. Set the... It's Vito. It's Mars. It's not Mars. <laughs> oh, man. Turns out your friend isn't real. How about that? Marv. Mars caught astray for no reason. You're right. I should have directed it at their parents. I'm just asking, though, because it felt good when I said it. Is your friend Mars homeschooled? Because I'm just going to say, you know, kinder, junior kindergarten to 12th grade was 14 years. 30 kids per grade. You do the math, I ain't ever met a Mars before in the, in the public education system, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm only one man, but you see the same kids every year, though? They, there would be a couple of different... They'd always have, like, some fresh blood every year, one or two. It's a post-internet name. My name's Ryan. I'm comfortable with that. Honestly, Ryan is, a, I mean, you could say is a better name or a worse name. That doesn't matter to me. It's just a name. What I look for in a name is exclusively non-noteworthiness, quite frankly. I never want to meet someone and have them say that's a nice name. Because I feel like if I was in that situation, I wouldn't know how to reply after like the 100th time I've heard it. What do you mean it's a nice name? I got no problem with Ryan. You just say thanks? I don't know. You don't think it's weird? You meet a 55-year-old man. You're a 20-year-old woman. And he goes, oh, Elizabeth, that's a nice name. This shit's fucking weird, man. I don't need to know what words you're horny for. You're sick? I don't think I'm sick. I think I'm, I'm the only person who can see the sickness. I'm the damn doctor. And I'm diagnosing right now. Take two of these and call me in the morning. 
It's weird. <laughs> okay, you're right. It's weird if you change it to that context. That's the. I, I didn't change the context. I merely illuminated the context that I misinterpret every gesture as. That was the context I always had in mind. You don't. That's the thing. Everybody thinks it's uh, so easy to be a man. When was the last time, as a man, someone said, "Oh, David, that's a nice name." Probably never fucking happened to you in your whole life. Meanwhile, if you're a woman, you could be like, "My name's Jessica." People, good guys, pushing the out of the way. Hey, what's a beautiful name? That's a really pretty name. That's a beautiful name. That's, a, that's an amazing name. Whoa, Jessica! I've never met a Jessica before. Me, when my name is David. Hello, human resources. Me, when my name is Jessica. Ooh, I forget what they say, they say in the second panel of the comic. <laughs> anyway. People are eye canting. That's good. Ooh, I, David's a good name. I got nothing against it. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely, maybe I'm boring. I'm of the opinion that like, well, like, okay, I can insult these kids because they're too young to use the internet. Kids these days kind of have, like, the worst of both worlds. They got weird names, and also they're not unique. Every time I'm at the playground, someone's always like, Griselda, get back here, and then, like, seven kids turn their head. Back in the day, there were just two kinds of names. There were, like, like 29 kids would be named, like, Michael, and then one kid would be named, like, you know, Quasimodo. And then you'd be like, why is your name Quasimodo? And he'd be like, I don't know. I guess my parents like Alexandra Dumas a lot. We, there was clear delineation. Everybody knew their role. You know what's, and this is not funny. It, I guess it kind of is looking back. Here's how a pedestrian my elementary school was. There was a kid in like my second, third, and fourth grade class named Norman. And people thought Norman was such a fucking weird name that he just got sick of all the lip and he changed his name. He was like a third grader changed his name from Norman to Thomas. You know how weird that was as like a nine-year-old? He'd be like, hi, Norman. He's like, I'm not Norman anymore. I'm fucking Thomas now. We're like, what are you talking about, Norman. He wasn't really bullied. I mean, he was on the in the social class system. He was he was hovering around the middle. It's not Al anymore. <laughs> it's Dunk. You weakening me is not relevant. The mimic is kind of relevant, but it's okay. Let's let's get a cheeky cheeky out there. Oh, hang on. I got to knock on the window. All right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. One second. I need to I need to go get my wife. I'll be back in just a sec. Come back, first thing I see is REM poster. Some things never change. We had, a, we had an appointment at the house today. It was uh, my, my wife scheduled the appointment. Dude for the appointment shows up. Guess who's in the damn shower? Saying, can I help you? It really, women do be shopping, man. Daryl. It's not a misogynistic joke. She was just in the shower. It's not offensive to say women shower. Women be stinky too. If anything, it's uh, it's an equal opportunity joke. Is everything okay? Everything's good. Did you say anything? Yeah, we can talk about it after the stream though. Everything's fine. I just didn't know because like some DoorDash came and that dude was standing out there and he waved at me. And I said, uh, I waved back at him. And then like a second later, he knocked on the window and put his business card up. And I was like, oh, I guess. Then I yelled. I was like, Kate, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the shower and I was like what the hell we got we got different measures of time for sure if I had an appointment at 1130 I know it's not even 1135 but you know there's like a there's an implicit 10 minute window around an appointment. They might come at 11.20, they might come at 11.40. Well, then they should come at the time that they said they would come. <laughs> not, the, not the 10 minute early, 10 minute late. 
But if we applied that same logic to ourselves, we would never get anything done. We're 10 minutes late for everything we go to. That's not true. We're on time. We're on time. <laughs> I'm, I'm on time. I'm on time. <laughs> anyway, it all it, it all went fine. And it's very, oh. very tight Holy Ryan! I think women's high jump is a little bit easier. Really Whoa, Whoa, he said it, not me. Well, because they don't jump as high. Whoa, five, five, <laughs> five <laughs> Christ, man. <laughs> what? I'm just looking at the numbers. <laughs> I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm not coming back. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say they can't, just they haven't yet. Ooh, You're an asshole. I, You're an asshole. I hate this event. I, I hate this event so fucking much. Yeah, Ryan hates it too, apparently. <laughs> I love this event, man. Holy cow. That's a new world record. Okay, let me see. 101 Dalmatians, Scooby-Doo. Marley and Me, movies that are about dogs. Cujo, Hot Swap Me. Maybe Along Came Polly. Maybe Crawl, I don't know. But just give me a hot swap here and give me a hot swap here. These are movies about fashion. And then the extra connection is probably going to be movies where the bot... Movies with evil women. I know that sounds very sexist, but... 101 Dalmatians has Cruella de Vil. Devil Wears Prada has Meryl Streep. Horrible Bosses has Jennifer Aniston. Maybe it's just movies with female bosses who are bad. Birds of Prey, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Wait, no, no, no. Movies with Jennifer Aniston. Bruce Almighty, Horrible Bosses, Along Came Polly, and something else. The Birds, Anaconda. These are all movies about... Animals that kill you. <laughs> I'm scared. This this one is... We can get there. Okay? And then we also know that these are movies about dogs. So it's like... Swap me. Swap me. I would like to undo my previous swap. Hang on, so we got natural horror animals, dogs, Jennifer Aniston, movies about fashion. Oh! <laughs> and then movies with a squad, team up movies. Team squads, I told you. Oh man, Jennifer Aniston, squads, fashion, dogs, and natural horror animals. Dude, Cine 2 Nurdle. What a game. Where's the evil women connection? Cruella DeVille, um, Anna Wintour, Jennifer Aniston in Horrible Bosses. She sexually assaults her employee, okay? I don't think that movie's a comedy. I think it's a cautionary tale. And then in Anaconda, the snake was a woman. Oh, you didn't know that? Probably because you just assumed that all monsters are men, you sexist. They care more like they care too much about how you raise your daughter. Okay, that's a plus two. But even still, I'm annoyed. Because we're raising our daughter fine. It's not like we're like, uh, you know, just letting her sit there. Like we're... <laughs> we just gave her pasta two days in a row. And she's like, you gotta just give her some variety. I said pasta two days in a row? That's like, you know, there's people out there that eat pasta like 30 days in a row. They live in a country called Italy. Maybe you've heard of it. I feel called out. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with eating pasta two days in a row or, or 30 days in a row. I'm a, I'm a normal... Well, what's the word I'm looking for? Normal's probably not it. I'm like a routine eater. I could eat the same thing for dinner seven nights a week and as long as I enjoy it and not get... Uh, not get too concerned about it. Like, I don't... My parents definitely are of the opinion, the position, that, like, you have to have some... If you had salad last night, you can't have a salad tonight. So I grew up, and it would be like... You would eat 
on Monday, let's just say you would have like chili. Then on Tuesday, you can't have chili. So you would have like, let's say some curry. Then on Wednesday, you would eat the leftover chili. And on Thursday, you would eat the leftover curry. For me, it, that's just, it, it, it extends the amount of time that a food is in the fridge. I don't like to carry that much food debt in my refrigerator. When I, and we, we don't do this because my wife is normal and I'm insane. But when I'm home alone, I cook like a chili. And then for dinner, I have chili. And then for lunch the next day, I have chili. And then for dinner the next night, I have chili. And I just, I'm, breakfast, I'll mix it up because I got to eat faster. I can't afford to be warming stuff up. I'll just have a bowl of Vector or something instead. But for lunches and dinners, I'm like chili, 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 chili. She's like, eh. Finally, I suggested sushi, the food I knew she wanted to eat anyway. And she's like, if that's what you want. Daryl. <laughs> I named seven other cuisines. No, Greg. I wish my girlfriend liked sushi. I would say it's like a blessing and a curse. I think Chibli could make like a joke about it. The joke could be like, women love sushi. <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole joke. <laughs> My impression of a woman. Do you feel like sushi tonight? This is Chibli's joke, not mine, okay? Don't cancel me. Women will be doing something else and then out of nowhere say something crazy like, do you want to eat sushi tonight? See, we're getting there. There's, there's a joke coming out of this somewhere. They do be loving sushi. They won't let me say it, but you can say it. I mean, you could, you could flip the script too. Men will really go to, they'll be like, oh, I've been craving steak all week. Yeah, I'd, oh, this steakhouse is so good. You want to go to this steakhouse with me? It's such a great steakhouse. Then when they get there, they'll like, I'll take the burger. Shit makes me sick. It's the greatest steakhouse in the city. Oh, what are you gonna what are you gonna have, sir? Sir, for you? Uh, we have a great New York strip tonight. We have a dry aged ribeye. We do all the dry aging in-house. Oh, um, I'll take the burger. Uh, of course you will, yes. And and what will you have as a side, sir? I was thinking the French fries. Very good, very good, sir. Sure, but the burger's 18 bucks and the steak is 45. You're the one who wanted to go to a steakhouse. Your wife would have been perfectly fine just going to the sushi restaurant. But no, you had sushi too much recently. Dad, Big Daddy wants to eat a steak. Then when he gets there, he orders a burger. She's getting the ick, bro. She's getting the ick. Tell Kate the sushi bit. I'm sure the first like hour of her stream is always just chatting. I'm sure she will, uh, I'm sure she'll hear about it. Let's put it that way. But she's gonna, first she's gonna roast me a little bit. I can, I, here's my prediction for how it would go down. She's gonna be like, yeah, I like sushi, but if I let Ryan order uh, the food, he would always order something I don't like, like Nando's, which is literally just like roasted chicken and potatoes. And then someone in the comments would be like, actually, he mentioned that he likes to eat Mexican food. And she'll go, yeah, that's pretty true. He does like to eat Mexican food, but I don't know. Like, sometimes you get the Mexican food, I just don't get it. It's just like, it's tortillas and cheese. Like, it's not really to my liking that much. And then he's, she's going to have to admit at some point that she does always go for sushi if she's choosing the, the meal. It's like a 100% certainty. So just like... I'm, I'm fully prepared for it, and none of that was a lie on her end, by the way. Bro, stop pre-moving. I, I go, uh, this, 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 here, here, here. They move here, I go here. I don't, I don't, I don't watch a lot of chess in the modern era. I think we just lost. Certainly seems like it. OMG. <laughs> she pooped a big one? No! Please win faster? Well, I lost faster. You guys want to hear my impression of a woman? <laughs> hey, what do you want to get some sushi tonight? I'm still workshopping the rest of it. <laughs> Alright, alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I was workshopping it yesterday. 
<laughs> warp shopping. They love sushi, man. They they love. I tell me that. they don't love sushi. I love seeing Ryan's yeah, love joke <laughs> notebook out in front of him. It's like write a joke about a woman. Oh man. For and then million dollars. People, people were like, companion. that's sexist, do an impression of a man. And I said, hey, for dinner tonight, I'm sick of sushi. Can we go to the steakhouse? They have amazing steaks. Then when they get there, the man is like, oh, yes, I'll have the burger, please. Oh, for a side, nice. I'll take fries. Did you see Canada's getting fogo de chow mouth? Why don't what? you go go to <laughs> chow on these nuts? Wow. wow. Hey. You guys ever heard of Netflix? No. They got all the scary movies. Oh my what are you God. doing? What the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, it is Chibli. Chibli, you're first. <laughs> my guy didn't jump. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna mute Chibli. I'm gonna mute Chibli. Uh, is that Chibli's song I hear? Yeah, yes. <laughs> He's running into the ring. <laughs> right, I can this? no longer hear Chibli. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, That's what you get, Bucko. Dude. I got delicate ears. <laughs> I, my, my, why can I still hear it? <laughs> oh. fucked up my dive so bad. <laughs> I think I, I think I scared Mel. Oh man! Oh, you can change the soundboard volume. Oh, that's good to know. I don't know why it told me that after I did all that. <laughs> I saw that on Plex. Hey Ryan, uh, tell a joke. Chibli, I had a great joke about. Um, you ready? Yeah. Okay, the joke is, here's my impression of a woman. Do you want to get sushi tonight? <laughs> that means it's a good one. What the hell? It didn't let me do my third jump. Oh, frick, I forgot. Yeah, I've been doing 230. That's bad, eh? Oh, oh you're screwed. <laughs> Chib's uh, high jumper was probably too busy thinking about what sushi she's going to order tonight. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I feel like this is like so misogynistic and how I'm just trying to figure out how. That's not misogynistic. <laughs> Your ass would tweet women be shopping. For sushi. Women be mm, shopping see, for sushi. Didn't, didn't deny it. Is that why it's called sushi? Hey, there we go. I can only assume that this is Monaco. I mean, the trees are a little tropical, but Monaco is it's down there in the south of France. I'm going to say this is Monaco. Monaco! I, do, I get a lot of opportunities to say that. Oh, they have an Hermes here. That's crazy. I'm joking. I'm a little surprised they got a steak and shake. But anyway, um, they're probably around Le Grill. Larry King? Is this where he's buried? I'll, I'll put you on 62. I think that's as good a guess as any that I'd come up with. It's 1980. That's Margot Hemingway, the granddaughter of Ernest Hemingway, watching the 1980 Monaco Grand Prix. I don't want to mansplain, but does she know that the car's over here? Why are you like this? Bro, I know where this is. Wait, the time guesser guy must be watching the, the chrono photos. We learned this yesterday. This was Ontario. It's a Laura. In the early 2000s. I see you sniping. What's a good title? Let's crowdsource a title from chat. Women be buying sushi in sap. So true, Chibli, so true. The scene in, Infinite, uh, in Endgame where all the female superheroes um, do the team up together and say girls get it done. What's it? Ordering a bunch of sushi. Oh no. <laughs> when your child is an adult at college, would you want her to hear these jokes coming back to her? Yeah. They're funny. Pretty funny. You gotta remember, I get like minus two like all fucking day. And I'm hilarious. Then when I ask chat to tell me a joke, like one in a thousand is any good. The one in a thousand is like really good. But, like, the other 999 are horrible. No offense. It reminds me of when I watched T-Pain on Twitch, and he was making music, and he was like, 
nah, -uh, this part doesn't sound quite right. And then people in chat are like, when you said, um, I got a stack for the waitress, I got a stack for security, and I got a couple other uh, that I uh, while she wearing my jewelry. What you should have said instead is, I've got a big car, I've got a big house. My stuff is so big that I'm not a mouse. By the way, I watched that women uh, movie, Women Talking. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Surprise, you know what they talk about? What to order from the sushi restaurant. 90 minutes of what the fuck is a caterpillar roll. And it won Best Picture? Okay. It's a good movie. I almost forgot that it existed, honestly. I've never seen it. I'm not against it. I'm not your dad. I knew your dad. And etc. and so on and such as. The bit doesn't hit. It's not a misogynistic bit to say that women love sushi. Can we just get Google to answer the question for us? I'm just gonna... Listen. If Jay Leno came up to you on the street and said, Who do you think loves sushi more on average, women or men? What would you say? What would you say? Then don't give me some bullshit that you'd be like, Oh, I think that it depends on the person. Duh. It's Jay Leno shoving a mic in your face. Who loves sushi more, men or women? You know the answer. And if you pretend not to know the answer, that just tells me how much you know the answer. Leave me alone, Jay. Bro, he just, he's been through a lot this year. You could just relax on Jay Leno a little bit. Yeah, women are more likely than men to like sushi. Because women are better at having good taste. Men are stereotypically more likely to eat something like a hamburger which is highly overrated, full stop. How do you feel about that? At a steakhouse, exactly. My chocolate! Hamburgers are the shit if you put the right stuff on them. Nah, I, personally I find them a little too sweet for me. <coughs> Need to cut the sweetness with something a little bit acidic like a carrot. It's a train. Bro, I know people like, Idiots are kind of like, oh, I wish people still dressed up to, like, go traveling. Fuck that. I don't want to get on the train and then uh, look to the side and then the person next to me is wearing a hat that's, like, the size of a huge fucking watermelon. Who cares? Just, like, you're taking up too much space. You're going to be bumping into me nonstop. You know what she's thinking? She's, she's hoping that they're serving some sushi on the, on the train a little later. Did they have sushi back then? Maybe not in what I, appears to be maybe England or the United States. So true, so true. This looks like the 1910s to me. It is 1909. I've never been so happy to be slightly wrong. This is definitely 1920s. 1922, we, got, we were so close to 4,000 today. That's not six inches, get her? Bro, she's probably just... She's, she loves sushi so much, she's just trying to see, like, you know, the ocean that birthed it. Or you say you don't like seafaring, ye be the landlubber that signed up with this scurvy lot. Please stop. What, you don't like subway pirate memes? Ryan asked what I wanted for dinner yesterday and I was too self-conscious to say sushi. It's alright, I knew you were thinking it. You know what I should say next time? I should just say, do you want sushi for dinner? No fish, no sushi. What are you talking about? You can, uh, you can order fish, you can order sushi. I love fish. I like sushi, but oftentimes when we order sushi, I could order something that's not sushi from the menu. I'm not shaming her. It's the same thing, like my wife has me pegged. I was going to say in more ways than one, but that's not what I meant. If she ever asks me what I want to order, she already knows it's going to be either Mexican food or like Nando's or something like that. So she like, she bakes it in to begin with. Like I, I, the interaction will usually be like, what do you want for dinner tonight? And I'm like, I don't really care. What do you want for dinner tonight? And then she's like, you can choose. And then I'm like, how about Mexican? And then I already know that that's a built in no, but you have to get that out there to then move the conversation forward. What's wrong with Mexican? It's just not my wife's cup of tea. 
Yes, that's a good way to describe it. Mexican food is the chump blocker in the card game that is marriage. It's because when you eat beans, I have to suffer your farts. You know what? True, true. That's pretty true. He won't fart in front of me, but he farts in front of our daughter. Yes, I understand the pecking order. My life will get worse if I make my life's, my wife's life worse. But I have dominion over our child. And also she just laughs. Like whenever I fart in front of her, she goes like, you, you're a farter. And then I go like, I'm a farter. And she goes, yeah, you're a farter. And I'm like, you got me. Also, if I didn't fart in front of my wife and my daughter, I would explode because there's no other opportunity to fart. I'm not going to fart it up on stream. And then apart from that, I'm like around them the rest of the day. So like I'd, I would just die because like I, I'm not farting for fun. I'm farting like for it's they're medicinal. Go outside in the driveway. Yeah, but then I'd be like to tossing my shoes on and then taking them off like 10 times a day. He's on fire today. I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Not true. I was thinking about pizza. I could go over some pizza this week. For sure. It's been a minute. Men always be like, Oh, what do I want for dinner? Well, we could always just order pizza. Anyone else here married? <laughs> what do I want for dinner? Mm, I don't know. We could always just order a pizza or something. Men, when they want pizza for dinner. You know, if you're not feeling like you want to cook tonight, we could always we could just get like a pizza. We could just order a pizza or something. Well, if you want to. Men come from pizza, women come from sushi. My best selling relationship novel. Everyone's, I've been watching Queer Eye. In Queer Eye, they're always talking about love languages. Is this a class that I missed in high school? You know what my love language is? My partner not using the limited counter space and the one sink in our kitchen when I'm also using the limited counter space and the one sink in our kitchen. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? I'm just trying to make a sandwich in here. Holy shit, plus two, plus two. So finally, someone's saying it. <laughs> I am going to federal prison. It's the realest shit you've ever said. It's not a men and women thing though, because I do it too. Like sometimes I'll be in the kitchen and I'll be like doing something and then Kate will come into the kitchen and start doing something unrelated at like exactly the same time. And I'm like, damn girl, why didn't you do that like before I had to come out here and get something done? And then she'll be doing something in the kitchen and I'm like, oh, my wife's in the kitchen. I want to talk to her. And then I come out and bother her while she's doing something. And then I'm like, well, while I'm in the kitchen, I might as well have a snack or like a glass of water or something. <laughs> so I'll just go fucking like get in her way. And then like, oh, I see she's using this side of the island. I'll go use the other side of the island. But then she's got to walk past me to get to the fridge. And I'm going to like move my shit out of the way. And now I'm chopping bell peppers on like not even a cutting board, just on the kitchen counter. Imagine having an island. I bought it from Ikea. I built it myself as well. I'm not trying to brag. I built a tricycle this weekend. It took me like 45 minutes. I felt like a like a real man. I mean, it had instru- I didn't like make the parts for it. I just assembled it. Built maybe is not a- <laughs> it's not the right word, but... Finally upgrading from the Peloton, I see. Finally! A good anti-Peloton joke. That's all I'm at. I'm not asking that the Peloton be above uh, criticism or above mockery. It's a stationary bike that goes nowhere. It costs more than a bike that goes anywhere. Like, I understand the innate humor involved there. All I ask is that you, you mine this very low-hanging fruit for a little bit of a laugh. Instead, people are like, didn't ask, plus your bike is too expensive. And I'm like, I know. My wife's the one who pays the bill. Anyway. What was I talking about? Men do love pizza. And so do non-men. But men are always like... You know. Hey honey, what do you want for dinner? Me? Nobody's ever asked me that before. Me? <laughs> for dinner? 
No, it's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be. We're just looking for something easy. Something easy. We could always just order a pizza or something. Going back to that joke, huh? Well, the love languages one didn't hit that well, so I just wanted to. I wanted to go back to something that works. They should put out a London uh, like thirty twelve. Whoa! Now we're talking. And it's a bunch of like futuristic Olympic. Games. Oh, it's got like a laser bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laser hover shoes. Sucking. Filling yep. your Amazon Prime cart faster than anyone else. <laughs> hey, well, you want to do that one? It seems like uh, in the future my wife will be an Olympian. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Women, women be oh shopping, my god! Dude. Oh, oh, wow! Oh man! Damn. Oh man! Can you say that? Oh, Fucking man. pig! <laughs> <laughs> This is men's high jump, right? It. Why does it matter? Well, the standards are different. He's right, but he shouldn't say it. I'll tell the Olympics. This guy's telling it like it is. Go <laughs> to the Olympics, all right? They'll probably kill you, Corey. People are trying to the cancel Olympics? Corey for saying that men can usually jump higher than women in the Olympics, but I'm not. I'm not going to stand for that. I stand by my friend. I don't know. He also said just... men like sushi and... Well, okay, that's just ridiculous. Hey, I love sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and you call yourself I like a Frank, man? I love Frank Ocean. We know. What the fuck? We know, we know. What's the, like, crazy height? What'd you all do? I didn't pay attention. Uh, 260. 260? <laughs> that's a crazy height. I'm gonna do this one. Dude, I got a 69 degree angle and I'm happy with it. Listen, you can't cancel something that's not been started, all right? Mm. Try telling that to Jonah Hill. Doesn't <laughs> <I mean, laughs> make any sense. I think he won an Oscar. <laughs> 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 oh, Justin, oh. quite a jump. Okay, okay. Why the hell was that speed lock not good? Do you think if there was like a person that was like five meters tall? Hmm. And they just stepped over the bar, would that count as high jump? They probably have to have like two feet off the ground at the same time. I think they'd have to hop, but yeah, they'd have to yeah, hop. They'd have to like at least hop it. I think they could do it. Probably. Especially if they were a man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to say that. They could probably do it if they were a woman, too. Five meters with that. I'm gonna That's stay like silent during this tall? just to let everyone know I don't support the um these comments. Thanks, guys. Dude, what the fuck? This speed lock shit sometimes just makes no fucking sense. Oh. Also, I don't want to be in the clip. <laughs> I don't want to be in the clip. <laughs> I pushed hey, I the wrong button. I think the second time ever. Congratulations. <laughs> mm, things your mom said when I <laughs> ate uh, her out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <Yeah. laughs> Avoiding the clip again. Just well, it's funny. Rest. Why is it legal to be funny now? <laughs> I would <laughs> try to make that sushi. Oh man. If it's illegal, had a good time. If, if it's illegal to be hilarious, you might as well put me in the electric chair right now. Okay, goodbye. No. <laughs> <laughs> I kill you. My my head becomes a skeleton. You can see my bones through my skin. <laughs> <laughs> fucking we, we rabbit should, shit, man. Dude, I got a crazy we should kill one of us. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, not it, not it. I don't agree. Yeah, not it. Not, I'm, it. Small not guy. me. I'm the I'm the youngest. I have so much to live for. I'm just a small guy. <laughs> well, what the fuck does that mean? You, you mean you, you mean the last going? guy? You were the last guy to say not it. So, stroke for stroke, she's striving for glory. True. Your mom <laughs> at prom. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you Why are you always fucking our moms? This is like a harmless joke. Because his mom keeps turning him down. <laughs> My mom lost. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. You got me. You got me good. Good choice, though, honestly. <laughs> oh, how would you know? 
<laughs> Melv would Why, know. Would your mom only says yes to me? Is that what you're, what you're, the fuck is happening in this laggy ass game? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's the lag, man. Frick. Dude, Wait, I got correct. third, but I finished like fourth? Okay. And my screen Corey oh, finished yeah, I, first, I think. So, so did I? Yeah. Am I even lying? Am I even trying to just be like a dumb dickhead here? Like, my shit just looks perfect. Same. Well, Ryan, Ryan, we know why yours is. I'm on Wi-Fi. Yeah, but you're the host. Uh, your mom yeah. was hosted me last night. <laughs> Dude, my mom is is like in her 80s. Really? <laughs> no, she's in her 70s. <laughs> yeah, I've been going. Still a baddie, though. I need to say it. Chance said it. <laughs> Does your mom bake? Not really. Y yes. Fuck yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about your... What about you, Ryan? She bake? Man, dude, she does I want prep. my parents... She doesn't really bake. She she does a lot of meal prep. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> How does it feel, bro? <laughs> I'm so I'm so turned on by that. Uh, I didn't say turned on. I just like a like a dessert square <laughs> now and then. Hey, I, I want my square. parents to come to Vancouver so I can get them high. They could walk. I knew it. They, they could, could walk. walk. Yeah. They probably would die. I don't know if they're old. My ass dad. Could handle it. My dad did just get a hip replacement. It might be good for him to walk a little bit. A little bit. Just yeah. kidding. I hope he's doing well. I hear that's a horrible surgery that it leaves you with a walking problems for the rest of your life. Dude, it seems like insane compared to what it used to be. They got new tech on the hip replacement. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 like it's much Lego. less bad now. Sorry. It's kind of like bone Lego, right? Don't you just pop the old one out and then? Well, you cut the <laughs> you cut the head of the femur off and. Like, you know... Not I could have made a your mom joke there, but I don't even want to, dude. It, it, like, it plus just your mom bakes. Oh Ryan's my God. mom cut the, the head of my femur off. She Fuck did? You, Ryan. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. You should call the police. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. That's good. Oh. I like it. <clears throat> I sneaky first. I Something about I mom sucking the chrome off a femur. What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is like getting so violent. We're, so, we're all adults, isn't it? We were just horny before. Now we're getting violent. Every time I talk about odd. stocks and bonds, everyone's like, "Shut up, shut up." Then I'm like, "Oh, the, the head of my penis Dude. recedes into my foreskin." Sometimes people are like, "Shut up, shut up." I can't say anything. You're so proud of me. I've started allocating a percentage of my pay to investing, bro. Good, that's so great, Jimmy. Just in time, the S&P 500 only rose uh, 31 percent from its lows. By the time you got it set up, way to go, Chibli. No, way no, to dude. Go. I, I've been doing that for like months. Oh, okay. I was, I was told on the wave. I was told it was a great time to invest all of my money into Tesla. Mm, well, this, I have no. Comment well, everybody's on that. adopting their standard charging standard. I'm investing in myself. That's great. Thank how, you. how many milligrams have you invested today? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And how does that impact on the scoreboard after two rounds? This is round three then. Another look at the, you know, you know. the only thing I know about Back to the Future 3 is that image where like the dude is pointing to his dick. And then that was in like all the clickbait that was like 10 insane scenes you never noticed from your favorite movies and then it turns out like it's just a way for actors to tell the producer they need to go pee wow because ah. they're not allowed to talk well they would ruin the shot so instead they just point at their penis <laughs> 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 that's an idea while I'm streaming <laughs> just points at his dick yeah, I just start pointing at it if I gotta pee. And then Corey's mom is like, I know, I know. <laughs> wow. Dude, wow. You can't, wow. You can't involve, you can't. What? Did she, she bring she's, you she's got that camera square. angle? She thought you were pointing to your stomach. Because your penis is so big. Wait, why does Ryan have a one and we have a two? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, yeah. It's kind of mm. crazy that women can hold a rifle in this game and they can hold a bow, but they can't hold a pistol. 
It's kind of messed up. It is. It's very messed I really, up. I was wondering where you were going with this one. Yeah, I was ready to cancel you. Yeah, I'm getting accused, by the way, credibly accused of being a misogynist. Can I tell you the joke that has everybody saying I hate women? Here's the joke. Women love sushi and men love pizza. That's the joke that people are like, he should really stop saying it because it's starting to raise eyebrows around here. I mean, I love sushi. I love both, honestly. Yeah, but which one do you love more? Sushi. Sushi? That's unusual. I'm a little sushi for Dude, I'm a little fish sicko. Okay, I but... I found good sushi in Richmond. So sushi I on pizza, Justin, do it. No. If uh, you were a woman, would your female <laughs> oh, no. self like sushi more or less than your male self? Honestly, I think more. See, Chad? <laughs> we lost another one. We lost another one, y'all. I lost I, my girlfriend. I rest my case. Because then someone showed me a clip where like a man is being interviewed on the street with his girlfriend and the interviewer says, what's your girlfriend's favorite food? And he goes, um, that's a tough one. Sushi. Oh, and then she goes, um, it's literally beer and pizza. I have a tattoo of yep. it right here. What is your wife's favorite meal? Mmm. Meal? That's a hard one. No, it's not. Sushi. Beer and pizza. Uh, oh. It I changes have a tattoo her. of it. But then I replied, the crazy thing is, I still believe him. <laughs> Regardless of the this fact that- This is why you're that, misogynist. I'm not the one that's not why people is why, are mad at you. This is why people are getting mad. It's not the fucking sushi comment. I just want to talk to him. And I'm like, let me guess, like once a week, she's like, what do you want to have for dinner? And then he's like, um, pizza. And she's like, I don't really feel like pizza. How do you feel about sushi? That's all I'm saying. I can imagine a world where that takes place. Uh, I can't make it to London next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two hours is just too uh, much. What are you talking about? It just turns about? into a stream of Justin and Ryan being misogynistic for two Whoa, hours. Why are you, yeah. why are you throwing the, <laughs> you one either of us into this? You're laughing. I'm I heard you. I'm allowed to laugh. Let, let us, uh, let, let America laugh? I don't know. What's not the same? Let America laugh. <laughs> It's gonna end with my ass doing like a 10 episode documentary where I go to sushi restaurants and I'm like, <laughs> let me ask you something. <laughs> Show me all the receipts of all your customers. Would you say you have a 50-50 split of uh, men and women coming into the restaurant? Or do you think that there's some kind of... I'll go to the pizzerias too. I got no... Have fun. What is your favorite pizza? <laughs> I'll go to the pizza places and be like, this is amazing. Holy cow. Yum, 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 yum. I love pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, I kind of like the know. idea of uh, Gary Vaynerchuk showing up at Justin's garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, a supposed uh, multimillionaire slash billionaire yeah. who buys. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. I've oh, watched I thought his that videos. was a Dawson's Creek guy. That's James Vanderbeek. <laughs> He could show up too, why not? That guy's the damn words. <laughs> oh. He's gonna be at your garage sale, dude. He's gonna make some, some money. He's, He's gonna, gonna swindle you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I get this for a dollar fifty? <laughs> That's a great impression. Thank you. That was my Trump impression. Can I can I get this for a dollar fifty? That's not Trump at all. That, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <clears throat> that Trump I did it's earlier Trump was on my the first time. I'm like I'm really proud of it. Mm. You sounded like job. the Star Wars pod racer guy, Justin. I'm not gonna lie. Try saying Chibli. Like. It just is the perfect Trump word. Well, it, is. it is. Chibli. Let me change people. Okay, people, people. You gotta say people. That's the perfect word. Chibli people. We love our Chibli people, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> mm, what do you think of sushi? <laughs> Pretty good. Dude, I uh, I finally found a good sushi place here, but every time I go, I spend like a hundred dollars, <laughs> so I can't I can't go. I am a, a, a modest sushi snob, and the sushi pictures you posted, I didn't reply, but I thought to myself, that looks really good. It's fantastic. And I thought to myself, <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's really good. That's a great impression. Is that Ooh, mouth doing Trump? Hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, I can't wait to grow old together, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you made me shoot an eight, man. Oh, picture it. Uh, Isn't it gonna be so nice talking like this when we're like 70 in Italy on a beach? Did Louis Armstrong sound like that when he wasn't singing? <laughs> Just picture him <laughs> at a sushi Armstrong? restaurant <laughs> being like, you know, what the fuck is this? Can I get a. California roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, sorry. that would be really good. That would be really good. Man. <laughs> oh, that's like a there's a couple alarms in that one. I thought I was done laughing, but I wasn't. I shot a seven. That's how funny that was. <laughs> Is there anything to life after like forty? Like Mazda Miatas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And People and, in their 20s and, and will always be saying stuff like that. They're always like, I don't want to live after I'm 40. It's like, bro, you just ordered DoorDash and played League of Legends right now. No, I don't. No, I do want to be. <laughs> I didn't say you. I, I, I said I, people. I okay, thank God. I've, I've, I just want to clear my name. I've been on record saying I can't wait to be old because I'm going to make be like honest, doors Ryan and shit. Ryan specifically means women. Hey! <laughs> wow. No, yeah. I'm not he gonna does. respond to that comment because everything that comes to my mind just makes this worse. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you have that. Very telling. What is like one thing you did want to say though? Like we won't, we won't <coughs> joke about it. No, I, you guys don't deserve it. You know what? You get the content that you asked for. Starting tomorrow, it's. Uh, I'm just gonna play comfy games and thank people for donations that fund my lifestyle. That's gonna be the whole stream. Twenty-four hours unpacking. <clears throat> Tomorrow we're gonna play 12 hours of Dave the Diver without looking at chat. Yes. Uh, this is not meant. To, I should have picked the game. Justin's not playing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I already finished it. No, you're fine. I'm done with it. 100% Hades, Ryan. Mm, no, that's. I don't like. I don't like games like that. I'm gonna play a, a game like Stardew Valley, and um, I'm going to make okay. sure everybody in the town is happy because that makes me feel happy. And I'm exclusively gonna. Every time someone brings up, what do you think of this? I'm going to say, I really like it. Yeah, you've got evil. And I'm going, to I'm going to become the 15th largest streamer on the website by Damn. donation revenue. This is like a rant a streamer makes before they move to kick, bro. Like, I hate to <laughs> I'm going to advocate for gambling to be banned from the platform and then dedicate the rest of my stream to opening CSGO crates, which are somehow not gambling. Don't put me in the clip. I want to be doing this for at least like two more years. <laughs> what? Me spending $2.50 to spin a wheel, whatever it spits out, I say, holy cow, bro, that's worth $400 and it's somehow not being covered under the Nevada Gaming Commission's regulations. He, I think we've lost him. Like I'm gonna... Gone. Oh, man. Ocean's... Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got him back. I'm back, Ghibli. Thank you. <laughs> For a minute there, I lost myself, Ghibli. <laughs> I like the impression of the dude that is angry at the fucking trumpet. That, okay. I mean, uh, it's very abrasive. I don't want to do that on, on VoIP with other people here because it's a little... You're flat! <laughs> You know nothing! <laughs> I walked Bob but Dylan out on stage. Who are you? You don't respect the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity. You got no talent. <laughs> That's, That's really so good. good. Thank you. Yeah, I don't you're, know you're how you do it. it. I've trained classically <laughs> and contemporaneously. <laughs> Who are you? Justice dead. Justice died. God, I didn't see this coming. Do you practice this in the mirror like a sim? It, no, the you know fucked up thing. Practice speech? The fucked up thing is, it's just like it's perfect every time, and there's no work that went into it at all. 
Which means that's probably what Man. I'm going to sound like when I'm like 75 years old. That's going to be you. There's going to be like some gamer on the street. Yeah. Playing yeah. Switch. Here we go. I played 9,000 hours of The Binding of Isaac. I had 4,000 concurrent viewers in 2013. You're nothing. I'm so annoyed that you get that and like I get a Spongebob laugh impression. Like you were blessed with that and I get what I got. What do you mean blessed with an impression of an insane person from a YouTube video that only crazy people yeah, know but about? At least it's a good impression. Like at least you've got words in yours. Is it harder for people in New Zealand to do impressions of people because they're not from New Zealand? Oh, wait, maybe. Well, I don't know. Because people, that, like, my accent is so cooked from being online. Like, it's probably it's really not even easy like for you New to Zealand. do an impression of, like, uh, Taika Waititi. Maybe. But for me, it's like... But I'm not going to try. Yeah. I'm not going to try. This, yeah. is, this is Thor, right? And Ooh. he's got love, but then also he's got thunder. Like, that's it's, it's all I got. Chibli. Is that good? Chibli. 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 Mouth, mouth. Chibli. Chibli. People, let me tell you a thing about Chibli. <laughs> <laughs> you turned into someone else at the end there. I don't know who. <laughs> this is Chibli. Yeah. Ichi, if you could talk. I could, yeah, I'll be a Southern Belle. Okay. Hey, I can picture that actually. Hey, you have like a big, you got a big dress on. Hey, y'all. Like Ta Taika with TD, oh, Dolly so Parton. And Louis Sweet Armstrong time. go to a sushi restaurant together. Did you see that Dolly Parton recently said she hopes she just dies on stage? <laughs> what? Is she really? Yeah. Is she okay? That's so cool. That's awesome. Man, I wish I like imagine being like like a wholesome famous celebrity like uh like I don't know, like like Tom Hanks. No. And in an interview you just like say some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Like Tom well, Hanks is like, I hope I, I hope I die voicing Woody in Toy Story 8. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I die in that voice recording booth going, Buzz! Don't let him work on set with Alec Baldwin. <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, people died, Mouth. Come on, man. So what the hell was that for? Because he shot something and they died. <laughs> oh my god, Mouth, come on. You can run it back still. Yeah. You guys got any requests for the final hmm. seven minutes? Javelin, long oh, jump. Speed shooting. It's six minutes, I'm counting. Don't try to push it. Um, okay. Ooh, I was thinking that. I could tell. I could just feel... I heard Louis Armstrong's voice. <laughs> Men, single skulls. <laughs> the paddles of the boat. So pretty in the water. <laughs> Wonderful sport. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea that Louis Armstrong would be like insanely annoying in real life. <laughs> Louis Armstrong at the drive-thru. I'll take a Big Mac combo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So they do extra large fries. That's it. <laughs> well, the fries are the, all the same size, but the box changes size. Yeah. Really? Can oh. I, dude? That would be a good bit. What if you went to McDonald's but you treated it like Starbucks? You're like, can I get a medium fry in a large box? They'd be like, what the fuck? No, you, you gotta, <laughs> What's this you guy gotta, gotta do? Gotta... Add the oat milk to his French fries? <laughs> Nature calls. The students need toilets. Please hurry. Facility. Okay, how about, we'll start by building the women's room, because if I didn't, people would call me a misogynist. Minimum size, 12 squares. <laughs> I promise I didn't intentionally make it as small as possible. It just, it just fits nicely here. Three to nine female toilets. There you go. Can you, can you fit in there? Yeah, you can fit. It's not even bad. It's completely fine. And then the boys' room. Here's the thing, boys rule, girls drool. So the men's room, of course, is definitely gonna be exactly the same, because it fits nicely. Some students are secretly playing a video game. 
All right, Miss Lin. She's Miss Lin's barging in. She's gonna stop gamer one, two, and three. What are you looking at? Oh, that's the new game. I mean, it is break. I feel like they should. Oh, she's sprinting. Stop. I'm sorry. Don't do it again. I won't. Miss Lin has stopped the scourge of video gaming. Delinquency resolved. Path end. Gain one demerit. Discipline increased. <laughs> they were secretly gaming at recess. Makes me sick, man. What's wrong with the bathroom? It's dirty. Okay, well... I don't know, research a fucking, like, plunger or something. I can't help but notice the game's a little sexist. Like, why is the girls' bathroom clean but the boys' bathroom is dirty? You know why? Listen, I don't know if this is true. I'm trying hard to beat the casual misogyny allegations, okay? I have always heard, and by heard I mean read on Reddit, that... The girl's bathroom is like a fucking biohazard situation. I'm not saying the boy's bathroom is clean, because it's not. But I've always heard that, like, the true nightmares happen in the girl's bathroom. They'd throw TP on top of the shit like a, pyra like a pyramid? <laughs> what? I will say, okay? I do, we're going back a few years here. Um, well, like a decade plus. But when I was in university, okay, I lived with a bunch of guys, one girl, but she was basically one of the lads, right? Our bathroom, there's seven fucking dudes in it. It was not clean. There's seven toothbrushes, seven different kinds of toothpaste, four different flosses, 12 different body washes, caffeinated, shampoo, all in one, conditioner, moisturizer, etc., etc. Anyway. But our bathroom was like, it was cluttered, but it was not like dirty. But then in university, I'd go over to like my girlfriend's apartment and it's just, they got like, the, the sink has like 15 different soaps on it and only like half of them have the lid closed. The rest of them look like, like the spout exploded in some kind of like pink liquid and then one of them's like blue and then here's a silver liquid and it smells like a, a hair salon and then you look at the bathtub and there's like another 15 bottles in the bathtub. You're like, how many different conditioners do you need? And like, why aren't you closing the damn lid? And then like the drain is all clogged with hair and stuff. I think by and large, on average, amortized out over the place the space of an entire house a single woman will tend on average to be tidier than a single man but i do think that the bathroom is like i don't know maybe men have like an advantage there because we tend to use less product at least if you're a millennial or a boomer we have a huge advantage okay brother give yourself some credit like life's hard for us too i'm saying <laughs> I know, I had a male roommate that would shave his beard and leave the hair all over the sink. Yeah, oh, I mean, that was me for a while as well. It's pretty gross. I'm not going to deny it. But I was like 17, 18 years old, you know? You just figure thing out, things out as you go. Then one of your roommates goes like, Hey, dude, can you clean the beard hair out of the sink? It's fucking gross. And then you go, oh, that makes sense. And you never do it again. <laughs> I will say, too, I want to protect myself. My wife is cleaner than me, without a doubt, and her bathroom is cleaner than mine. And she's got, like, more products than I have, so it should be hard for her to keep it clean, but she does a better job of it than I do. But sometimes, you know, they'd be like, hey, there's a party happening at girl's house tonight. Bring, uh, bring your whole house over. We bring our whole house over. We go to the bathroom, and I'm like, you live like this? Kitchen, spotless. Bedroom, spotless. Bed made. Fucking cushions on the couch. Doilies on the table. Placemats and stuff like that. They don't put the pizza box in the fridge. They take the slices of pizza out, put them in Tupperwares, put the Tupperware in the fridge so it's structured all nicely. Then you open up the bathroom and it's like a, a Pantene Pro-V factory exploded in there. That's so true. A woman's bathroom. <laughs> it's, now I'm like, it's too, it's too misogynist. I can't say it. A, a girl's bathroom is kind of like uh, Oppenheimer meets Barbie. 
I didn't say it, chat said it. I simply plus two'd it. It's so crazy that we're all little factories that make pee. Yeah, I'm not making pee, man. I'm pushing no? pee. <laughs> I, 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 I take as much fluid intake as possible to make something else, you know what I'm saying? I feel that, I feel that. I oh, diverted all saying. resources. No, you don't yeah, you to to Yeah, that's it? exactly. The exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you so, want to explain it for the um, people emergency? That don't hey, oh, little antibodies convert all piss production to cum producers. <laughs> <laughs> you picture like a cartoon fucking. I'm giving it all to like, Scott, Captain. Walking through, walking <laughs> yeah. through your body with that goofy ass John Lennon walk, donka donka, big lever, <laughs> 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 and all the yellow stuff turns white instead. Yeah, yeah. Like a piss tank drains and a cum tank fills they're like up. Shoveling, <laughs> just like a they're shoveling coal <laughs> at one point. They're like shoveling, they're <laughs> speeding yeah, up yeah, the yeah. engines and shit. Yeah, I'm talking like, the, the same Titanic, little, dude. This the is the same Titanic, little and you're like, oh, your reverse. A bug in the hose that was normally like just a hose. Now it's got like a big bubble that's slowly working its way down through your whole body. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's watched so much Looney Tunes. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 I'm just picturing like the little sirens going off, <laughs> like the red lights, <laughs> like all the lights kill. Oh, it's just, I, it's a panic situation. Literally, in need my cum. head, it's when they when they see the iceberg in Titanic, and then it cuts to the engine room. But instead of the engine room powering the engines, it's cum manufacturing. <laughs> it's all cum my head factory. You should get a shirt that says "My body converts DoorDash into semen." <laughs> Where does the come from come from? Like you know, you know what I mean. Like it's like water, and bro. <laughs> well, well, we, it's obviously water. What else is it? It's like, a mix of pee and poop. <laughs> you said that in a way that either was a joke or like confidently knowing some crazy information. You know, no, it's mean? real. If you think about it, like it's not a liquid, but it's not a solid. Oh, okay. Not so all solids are poop, though. Well, when I asked Ryan to do me a solid, he <clears throat> took a poop on me, so that... Uh... <laughs> That's what I came back to, all right. <laughs> Did you guys see the cartoon um, where it's just... The, the <laughs> caption is, he got so horny, he tried to on the line yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. And yes. The, the dog gets so horny, he shoots himself in the head with two guns at the same two time. Two guns. I saw that and I said out loud, I was like, I feel that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at my phone at dinner and I started laughing and Kate said, what are you laughing at? And then I showed it to her and she did not think it was funny at all. <laughs> it's like when you show someone I think you should leave. It's the same same oh, energy. Man. Chicks do oh. not get it. <laughs> dude, I was uh, in Wegmans today and there was a couple like browsing some stuff and uh they were trying to figure out what they were making for dinner tonight or what they wanted. And he went, let me guess, sushi? Yeah. Like, oh, oh my god, they know, god. they know. <laughs> oh. So, you know, that's it where it's me. crazy because that guy's just misogynistic. And he doesn't know no, the No, that guy role. was probably an analyst. <laughs> that's a viewer. Yeah, man. I think that's no, more no. likely. No, no, man. He's just misogynistic. It's not it's misogynistic. at uh, 9.30 this morning. <laughs> It's not We're not allowed to be funny anymore, okay? It's not misogynistic mob, if women are actually more likely to enjoy sushi than men. And that's what I think the data would bear out if any scientists were brave enough to I'm gonna Google respond to my fucking emails. who enjoys sushi enjoy. more, dude. Probably the Japanese. Wow, now we're really, bringing race into it. Really Wait, big Wait, bro, you enjoyers. Google? Who enjoys sushi more, men or women? Top result, a Reddit, a Reddit post. Why do women seem to like sushi way more than men? Holy cow. <laughs> it, this is the greatest day of my life. <coughs> oh, and then top reply? Because men don't broadcast everything they do no. to the world. Oh, oh no. no. Come on. Certified man moment. <laughs> oh. And Good in Lord. some areas, it's considered... Um, feminine for a man to eat anything that's not meat and potatoes. Oh my that's god, so, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a fucking sushi faq.com <laughs> website and there is a thing in here called sushi and sexism. I oh, type, don't uh, click on that one. I gotta say, it's not about, it's not about women be eating sushi. I'm what is it hell? about? There's dozens and when, of us. At one time, a uh, woman belong in the kitchen? No, I never said that. 
No, Burger King said that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I yeah. thought you were calling yeah, me more, the Burger King. That's more King. what the thread's about. Dude, Burger King Why tweeting that was not... the craziest thing ever. What Why about they the, say that? Doctor, what they the Diet about? Dr. Pepper soda they released and their ad campaign was Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women? Ooh, they were just trying to like bounce back. They were like trying to go so My hard diet the Dr. Other way. Kelp? <laughs> is it a SpongeBob Why reference? Does this yeah. audio not come out of my stream. Oh, I saw your desktop, bro. What the hell was that? I'm bringing it. Back well, dude, why you got why you got that the clip from that Twitch streamer on, as your background? <laughs> well, I'm not getting. It's I'm weird. not going down that road with you. Okay? Why did you have a file folder that it was titled Lasers? <laughs> okay. <that's... laughs> well, look look what happens to be in this pack. Dude had a notepad document titled "Memes to Post If I See a Woman Posting About Eating." <laughs> 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 What's your desert island sushi? You only get one roll or one sashimi. It's one. Aura. Huh? It's a pretty good choice. Fatty tuna. Tuna? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I would probably just do some kind of salmon on this yeah. thing. I know maybe it sounds like I'm just trying to come up with a contrarian answer. I love the fishy sushis, like the mackerel. I always, yeah. I trade. Oh, they're good. Yeah, they're good. I, I yeah. trade the, my wife for her mackerel because she doesn't really like it. I'll give her a Toro to take a mackerel any day. You trade your whole wife for, for, a, for sushi, for, man? For, <laughs> like, your bits falling apart. That's Bro, crazy. If I, if I traded her, then I wouldn't have gotten sushi in the first place. I would have gotten pizza. There it is. There it is. There it yeah, is. why buy the cow when I can get the sushi for free? Can I tell I you? I love this game. We went to a, um, a restaurant at Disney World, and one of the things on the kids' menu was kids' sushi. My nieces ordered it, and I swear to you, two pieces of the sushi were chicken nuggets. Like the chicken nuggets, so chopped up chicken oh, nugget yeah. and rice. Right on. And it was their favorite part. Oh, dude, in, uh, in Japan, oh. used to, we used to get hamburger sushi. That shit was good. Bad sushi America! <laughs> bad! Bad! This no, okay. It was in Japan. It was in Japan. Go finger myself. Yeah, but it's, it's a take on the meme. You know how people do bat chest Japan? But now it's Japan doing bat chest America, hamburger America. Someone, dude, people in Japan, they go crazy for American fast casual chains like Bennigan's and. Uh, it's true. Yeah. TGI Fridays. There's probably people in Japan, they're like, bat chest, Carl's Jr. is opening up in Akihabara. Bat! bat. King of the Hill! <laughs> King of the Hill, baby! <laughs> bat! <laughs> Malcolm in the middle, bitches! <laughs> Stan Malcolm in the middle. Shaky's Pizza, bad! Oh, first come on. dog. That's gotta She's be like before super early, right? Apollo. Probably before. Oh, it's either before or after John Glenn. I don't actually know. I think it's before. He's right. Laika was very early, I think. The dog went up before the first man made object? Maybe, man. It's dangerous. Before, before, before man. The Wi-Fi in space must be amazing because you're so close First to the woman. satellite. And there's no like That's... like obstructions. Here maybe. Go trash this. Rob, no, no, no. After Voyager one, probably. <laughs> Might even bad right. be after Guion. I don't know. I say that name. Is Sorry. Well, woman up before a man. <laughs> I know? would have. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, Andrew, after pandering. a dog. Oh, after pandering. a dog. No, so I could finally get some peace and quiet. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yikes, man. I'll go with this. I'm joking! I'm joking! Brian, Brian would just like, like hurl a piece of sushi in his <laughs> Oh, no, we trashed one that wasn't trashed. Yeah. No, 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 this is right. This is right. Yo, Chad, you won't believe it, but he typed in Discord that he's not joking. It's fucked up. I said, <laughs> I typed, am I right, Lance? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we did horrible. Why is it so slow? Because we fucked up. A oh. Oh. No. Would you want to wait? Wait, what? Oh, because th when it left, it maybe? It, but it didn't leave. Before. Yeah. I thought, they, I thought the whole point of this was when it left Earth. No, that one specifically said when it left the solar Well, that's system. just okay. incredibly misleading. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Hello, you go puppy. Ra -ra -ra? Ra -ra -ra. You go rah rah rah. You go rah rah Hi, puppy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the Unicode Consortium wants to make your face into the an Unicode emoji. You will Consortium want right, you can read. Living on brand deals. However, <clears throat> your emoji will be used to mean this. 
Do you see? Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> no! No, I It's an know. easy no? <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> easy not, no? Yeah, it's Ryan the easiest like no it. of my life. Why do I you can earn a emoji? living on brand deals. All you have to do is be an emoji. <laughs> oh, Steve already says no, <laughs> man. You're a psycho. <laughs> It's making your face mean <clears throat> being sexist. No, it's, it's you being a sushi. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Not beating the allegation. It's a hundred percent. I would sign this contract. You. It doesn't insane. mean that I'm sexist. It just means that my emoji is sexist. And everyone knows <laughs> you're sexist, man. I don't oh care what they God. think. This is a sc <laughs> someone screenshot that right there and have that oh, screenshot forever. Ryan yeah. is now moving to kick as well. We're gonna. <laughs> Dude, Kiki's going straight to Rumble, man. What's Rumble? The Where's fuck's Rumble? Truth? That Truth is more social. Social. It's where Kick streamers go when they get banned. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Was it, what, they got a Fousey tube and that's it? That's yes. <laughs> a charity raising money for straight wow. pets asks you to participate this? in a fundraiser. Rate this tweet. Sometimes I park in an employee's only parking spot just to feel something. I, I take no pleasure in this. Um, I would give that tweet a don't tweet this. I, I resonate with the sentiment and I understand it. I think it needs a little bit more time in the in the cooker personally. Now, if you really wanted to tweet something, you should say sometimes I park in the handicap parking spots just to feel something and send that one out into the wilderness and see what comes back. <laughs> now we're cooking. I piss in the handicap stall. I subscribe to the Curb Your Th Enthusiasm uh, model for how to use bathrooms. If you need to use a stall and there's three stalls, two of them are not equipped with the bar, one of them is equipped with the bar, you, as an able-bodied individual, you use the non-bar stall. If the two stalls without bars are already in use, then I'm using the handicap stall. I'm not waiting just for the one in 1,000 chance that somebody who comes in and needs it in the 15 seconds that I'm peeing is going to be like mad at me. I think that what would happen is like when I use the toilet, I came out, they would be like waiting there and I would say sorry and they'd say no problem, it happens all the time and we'd both go about our lives. Also, I use the, my, at many places in, uh, well, the world I would say now, there's like a men's bathroom, a women's bathroom, and then like one bathroom that is called like Universal washroom or like handicap accessible washroom or like family washroom or like whatever if I'm with my daughter I Yeet that son of a bitch immediately. I go into that every single time And I think that's what it's meant for because like if my kid has to go to the potty It's ten times more annoying to go into the men's room and like find a stall that hasn't had a war crime committed in it and then like clean the toilet stall and then, uh, you know, like get her to sit on the toilet, but the toilet seat is always like too big. So I'm like holding her up so she doesn't fall into the toilet. So I always take that one. And then after she pees, she flushes, she washes her hands. While she's washing her hands, I pee. Cause I'm like, I don't get this opportunity a lot. <laughs> That's exactly what it's meant for. Let's go. I'm not breaking decorum then. To pee? I mean, if I'm already in a bathroom and you think I'm leaving the bathroom to go into the men's room to then piss at a urinal, you have fragile masculinity. I already, if I'm going in a public bathroom, I pee in the stall 90% of the time. The only time I will pee in a urinal is if I have to go really bad and all the stalls are full, then I'll pee in a urinal. Otherwise, I'll wait for a stall, man. I don't mind waiting two minutes to, to pee in with some privacy. I, I, I'm like a half joking. I still think it's fucked up that they're building more urinals. Like if you I have a building that was built in the early 20th century and it has urinals, I'm like, fine, whatever. This shit's expensive to fix. You're building a new building and the men's room has urinals and the women's room has stalls. 
That's actually sexist, okay? It's not like the sushi bit that's fake sexism. That's actually sexist. You're making the men's facility deliberately worse than the women's facility just to save some money. Men should have stalls just like women. Urinals are more efficient? Maybe you should just whip out your dick and piss on the floor, D.L. Guiga. Oh, that's extreme. That's extreme. Yeah, they're so efficient. Yeah, it's so efficient that like... You go up there and you got two dudes with a shy bladder having a Mexican standoff with one another. Fuck, I really hope this guy starts pissing so that the sound of his pissing hides the fact that I haven't started pissing yet. Everyone's probably listening and going, why isn't that? Oh, that guy hasn't started pissing yet. He's been standing there shaking his dangus for like 25 seconds. If they would at least, they don't even have to have a stall, although I think it would be nice. Like, I think we in North America have something wrong with us where we're like, no, 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 we don't deserve nice things. Like a Korean pair, for example. But fine, okay, if you're fucking, like, we don't deserve it pills. Can we at least get two brackets and a little divider so that I'm not rubbing shoulders with the, the, the people that I'm pissing next to? Like, at least there's some... I'm not even worried about someone looking down at my thing. Like, I'm not a narcissist about it, but just to have... To be able to put myself in a bubble where I'm like, I feel like I have some privacy would be nice. Even if it's psychosomatic, okay? Your best take yet. Same thing with the men's showers. I got, if, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going into a gym locker room as a man and you're like, I'm not getting naked. I'm gonna wear my sweaty ass clothes into my car, get my car all stinky, drive home for 20 minutes and then shower. You do you. But I think that's more weird than getting naked in the room where you're designed to get naked. That being said, the men's showers in the gym are still being built like prison showers with 12 shower heads on the outside perimeter. So when you're washing your back, you're looking at like 12 pairs of balls and then ass is hanging out. And then when you're washing your front, you're like, everybody's looking at my ass hanging out. Can we at least get some stalls or something? It's crazy, man. It's not ancient Rome, thank you. There's no like uh, hairless man coming around with a big carafe of like scented oils or something like that. It's just hot water and Dove for Men body wash. Can I get some privacy? Had a dude once at the gym locker room use the urinal full naked and then hop in the shower. Full naked at the urinal is crazy. There's no doubt about that. So I, statistically speaking, probably like 5% of chat needs to hear this as well. I'm saying this not to make you feel bad. I'm saying this to save your life. At, when you piss, do not pull your pants down all the way to your knees or God forbid to your ankles. Every, listen, maybe it's habit. I don't know. <laughs> Say like one in five times you see a full row of urinals. There's one dude who's got his pants down around his ankles or his knees, man. You got to... You undo the fly, you, or you undo the button, you unzip the uh, fly, you pull your tackle out, okay? And then here, the little tip just from me, I like to put one thumb between the waistband of my underpants and uh, my testicular region, because otherwise I sort of feel like the waistband impinges upon the flow, and then I use my other hand for, for aiming and, and flow control. But you only need that, you should not be exposing anything to the back. From the back, it should almost look like your pants are fully up. From the front, if someone were to look at you head on, they would be like, okay, I can see your dick and balls, but that's it. I certainly cannot see the top of your thighs. Now, if you want to just zip the fly and then, you know, serpentine your, your dangus out through the front, that you do you. I honestly find that it takes more time to just do that with the fly, I, like with the zipper. I, I prefer taking the button off and then unzipping there. I also think that you are an insane person if you work your penis out through the fly of your boxers to pee in a public bathroom. Um, those things are like, they have micron precision, okay? That's not what the fly is there for. I know it's a curb bit again. I don't know what the fly <clears throat> on the boxer is there for. 
I mean, it's a vestige of an earlier time or something like that, but that it's just there for decoration, okay? You know how like girls' jeans had like look like they have pockets? Then when you feel the pockets, you're like, you couldn't even put a lifesaver in them? It's like that, okay? It's like the bottom button on a suit. You never use it. Menswear guy from Twitter is here. That's just my two cents on that. But definitely do not pull your, your pants all the way down to your ankles or lower. And I, you might say, why? I, I'm saying I didn't start the fire, okay? It's always been burning since the world's been turning. I didn't invent this decorum. All I would say is it gives like heavy toddler energy. Oh, here we go. Why are you observing it? I don't know, because I fucking have eyes and the lights are on in the bathroom. Guy, guy doing insane thing. Why are you looking so much? This is fucking right out there, brother. My rods and cones, like, I, I, it's not like I can turn that shit off. They're just passively, <laughs> they're passively working. Dude, Cook's pants are like me when I have my period. Kate, what the hell is going on? She's, she's going crazy. She's off the perk, man, in my chat. My chat can't handle that level of realness, okay? They still don't think that girls even poop. First sentence, oh, oh that's sissy. First sentence on stream, me when I have my period. <laughs> I was laughing when somebody tweeted me like, uh, they were like, what are your thoughts on this image? And it was um, someone on Twitter losing their mind. They said, normal people find it disgusting to imagine any of their relatives having sex. It's called being a normal person, you fucking freak, or something like that. Um, and they said, what are your thoughts on this? And I simply, uh, I went to memegenerator.net and I searched Dr. Manhattan, the one where he points and Rorschach explodes. And all I put on, uh, all I put on Dr. Manhattan was your parents have had sex at least once. How about period poops though? I'm not grossed out by this, by the way. I think there is a double standard, like, all I ever want is fairness. That's why I talk about the differences between men and women's bathrooms. But, like, men... If we get eight dudes together, we play London or something like that. I guess we... If, okay, we get three dudes together, we play London. We're like, how good does coming feel? If you have... Oh, coming, shitting, puking, burping, farting, coming. Like, it's just that over and over. And everyone's like... Ah, ha, 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 ha. I feel like if there was a, a, a stream or a podcast of like three women on Twitch and they're like, I was, I masturbated. People would be like, what? I was pooping on the toilet the other day. They'd be like, excuse me. There's a double standard, man. You're a rare non-misogynist. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I beat the odds. I beat the allegations. You know that if men had periods, it would become like the number one fodder for stand-up comedy ever, right? Some dude with Gregor Mendel's hairline would get up on stage and be like, so my period happened last week, and everyone in the audience would be like, oh, here we go. Here we go, dude. I love when he does the period bits. It's crazy that Gregor Mendel is your example of someone who has a bad hairline. I always think about it because I've, I've told this story before, but in grade 11 or grade 12 biology, you know, we, we got the textbooks from the class that had them the year before. And next to Gregor Mendel's picture, there was a, a writing in ballpoint pen that said receiving hairline much. So I will never forget what Gregor Mendel looks like. He said no mushrooms. What do you think is the... And, okay, I guess I'm asking you to be sexist. So you can feel free to say no. But it's sexist towards men, if that changes anything. What do you think is the most common substitution men ask for in restaurants? I bet it's no mushrooms. Or possibly no tomato. Add bacon. Ooh, <laughs> that's an interesting one. No pickles. No pickles. I have to think about that one. No, I mean... No, for me, it's a no comma pickles. No disrespect, evil puppy. Fries instead of salad. That never happens, though. You always have to substitute the, the salad for fries. 
I didn't realize it too. I'm sorry to bring it back to Subway. If you ever go to r slash Subway, you'll realize if you don't order double meat, you're the crazy one. Apparently like 85% of people that go to Subway order double meat. I had no idea. Any, any ex-Subway employees here or current Subway employees that can talk about my, my statistics here? <clears throat> My ex-Subway employee definitely didn't see many people getting double... Fuck you. I, I, there was an implicit statement when I asked, which is only answer if your lived experience agrees with my headcanon, okay? If you're just gonna disagree with, like, the shit that I said, like, what's the point? <laughs> no! Please tell me... Oh my god, I'm top five, man. I'm an ex-Subway employee. I ordered double meat. The people that came in didn't that often, though. Did you not hear what I just said? <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yo, my wife and I are eating Subway right now. Guess our orders. Okay, but here's the thing. If I guess your wife's order, nobody in check can ever call me a misogynist ever again. I I'm going to say I don't have to get it exactly right. But, like, if I get it... If I get the order right then that counts, okay? My, no deal, fuck you. Because I already know that women love sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Tell me I'm wrong. You know what's great? I, be, I bet like 500 people are going to be like, the sushi bit was too far, but he's right about the sweet onion chicken teriyaki stuff. <laughs> so true, so true. Accurate, but incorrect. Okay, I can live with that. Well, you, you got yourselves a, a special lady then, if she didn't get a sweet onion chicken teriyaki. Excuse me, I have no heals? What if, what if we just popped one? Sanest ult of all time. Go in, go in, go in! That was a crazy ult, bro. <laughs> Woo! I didn't read any of the shit they just put on the screen. I was mashing the button like a fiend. Terminally online senior citizens love to equate their dislike of modern music to the impending collapse of Western society. That's true. I mean, I feel like both music and society have gotten worse in their defense, but I don't think that that was related. I think those are just, it's like the shark attacks correlated with ice cream sales graph. <laughs> you can't be sure that they do correlate. No. They might not causate though. The only thing that causes eight is fucking seven, bro. 2020s have been the second best decade for music. Fight me. Oh, really? So what is it? 2020s and then like what? The number one's got to be, we all agree, the 1870s or whatever when Beethoven was working. When he was at his peak. I don't know that much about the 2020s, but I do think that Bad Idea Right is a really good song. I think that's a, that's a 10 out of 10 pop single. Also, it's not pop. The fact that there are... Listen, I'm not throwing Corey under the bus here. <laughs> I don't even know if Corey's ever heard it, but the fact that there's people like Corey who will see that it's by, like, a 21-year-old woman and be like, I just assume that I don't like it. Bro, it's a rock song. It has a guitar solo and everything. Okay, it's not swans, but still. It's a four-piece band and a guitar solo. Like, it's, it's a rock classic. Because I... In, in the Discord, Chibli will back me up. I said, have you guys heard that new Olivia Rodrigo song? This was like two weeks ago. And Chibli said, nodders. And then Corey said, I tend not to like most pop music. The fuck? The song's 150 seconds long, brother. Why don't you just listen to it? It's better to appear a fool than to open one's mouth and, and remove all doubt or fucking whatever. You know how pop music works. Or not pop music, but like music on the radio that's popular. 98% of it is pure fucking ass garbage. 
Demi Lovato, Pink, Kelly Clarkson. I know she can sing, okay? That's not what we're talking about here. And then there's always like one I of the most talented artists of all time. That's it, there's always, there's always a Stark in Winterfell. There's always an Olivia Rodrigo on the, on the radio. Why'd you only name women? Well, like, I'll be honest, my most base take is that the only way shitty music made by women could be worse is if it was shitty music made by men. The men shitty music is even shittier. What does that even mean? It means as bad as a song by a woman can be, the worst songs ever are made by men. <laughs> Come on, think about it. Whenever people talk about the worst songs of all time, what comes up? Some shit by Nickelback, Imagine Dragons, it's very rarely... Oh, no, it's, come on. Friday's not a song. It's a video. It's a social experiment. Why are you back on your sexist arc? It's a different one. I'm sexist towards men here. I'm not saying men make worse music than women. I'm saying when a song is bad... I'm trying to think of the best way to phrase it. The worst songs are made by men. It doesn't mean women make better music. It doesn't mean men make worse music. It just means when... Men are the best at making bad music, okay? Sorry, ladies, if that bothers you. If you were out here trying to create the worst album ever made, we already got that covered. Why don't you stay in your lane, okay? It's because women haven't, have, has, haven't had as many opportunities to make bad music, and I don't support that. I think there should be a female Nickelback. I think there should be, like, a female fucking... Give me a second here. I know popular music. Whose songs do I never want to hear? I gotta think about it. Drake? I don't know. Back me up here, Prezzo, if you agree. I think Drake is a human being. You know, I ain't know about all that, so I'm gonna stay out of all that. Drake is an artist? I think some of those songs are kind of gas. Is gas good or bad? I guess that depends who's farting. So true. <laughs> there should be a uh, women Decemberists. They could be called the Novemberists because in this household, women always come first. Hold your applause, come on. Is that a Facebook joke? It is, but it's like a 2006 era Facebook joke. When only cool college students were on Facebook. As of 2013, there are no Decemberist fans left on Facebook. Except probably the person running the Decemberist Facebook page. The Decemberists look like people that hang out at microbreweries. We gotta stop doing this. I mean, do they look like that? Yeah. But, like, what's wrong with that? Everybody's got to spend their time doing something. I don't even know what you look like. That's even more of an insult. At least that guy's out on the damn town or something like that. At least that guy's got enough, you know, he's projected enough power out there into society to have an archetype and thus open himself to mockery. It really struck a nerve in you? Well, people always say stuff like that. They're like, oh, he looks like someone that hangs out in a micro. Oh, that looks like a guy who drinks IPAs. That's fucking like 70% of guys. You look like a guy who makes up fucking Poland ball Wojaks at home. Probably. I wouldn't know. I've never seen your face. I'm just making an educated guess based on where you choose to spend your time. Holy. <laughs> did, I, did I strike a nerve? Not so nice when you're the guy who's been hanging out in microbreweries, is it? Ideal female pop artist blunt rotation. Okay, that's easy. You definitely start with Jojo Siwa. I would say follow that up with Stacy Ferguson, also known as Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. But you said nightmare, right? You said ideal nightmare? Her name is actually Ferguson. Hey, listen. She's not like Clarissa explains at all, mf -er. She's from, uh... Her, her last name's Ferguson. 
which I believe means that her father made Ferguses. No, I wouldn't want to hit the spliff with Joanna Newsom. I, she'd start talking about some shit that would be completely impenetrable in the moment. You know, she'd start cooing and mewing and stuff like that, and you'd be like, what the hell was in that? So I'd say Lil Tay, Jojo Siwa, Stacy Ferguson, maybe Nicole Skurzinger from the Pussycat Dolls. A circle can have like an unlimited amount of points, right? Grimes? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm sorry, like I, I know Grimes has made some good music. I think it's crazy how I used to be like the meanest motherfucker I know, and now I haven't changed at all. If anything, I've got like a little meaner. But like, I'm the nicest motherfucker on this website now, which is crazy. Except for the really weird people who are like, never say anything mean. I don't know what they're hiding. But it's not good. <laughs> but like, Grimes is not invited to the blunt rotation. Cause you have to be stupid to have fallen in love with Elon Musk. Unless it was like in 1991 or something like that. You can't be smart and have fallen in love with Elon Musk and had two kids with him. It's sorry, I'm just, I, you're not, you're, you got other things going for you in life, which is fine. You're not invited to the, the female artist blunt rotation. For some reason, I am, by the way, but. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I must be pretty cool. I did see that he said he would give Wikipedia a billion dollars if they change their name to Dickopedia. You say what you will, he is very funny. A very eyes. funny guy. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. Women be like, whatever choice you make, I'll wait for you. Then all of a sudden, you're like, how about pizza? And she's like, eh, I'm not really feeling pizza tonight. Make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense. Whatever choice you make. So true. <laughs> It's fucking, it's, it's not false, bro. I'm not saying it's true, but it's not false. You got me all wrong. I'm not saying that women don't like pizza. I am saying that women are like, I don't know what I'm feeling. Or like, they'll be like, I could eat anything. Why don't you choose tonight? And you're like, okay, how about X? And they're like, mm, anything but that. It doesn't even matter what X is, bro. Daryl. I named seven un other restaurants. No, Greg. Finally, I suggested Taylor's, a place I knew she wanted to go anyway. I walk in the house. Tell me my ass ain't sitting in the car at 6.30. I get up, I walk in the house. She's stepping out the damn shower like, can I help you? That one's where for did, you, Chad. Where did, where did Kate go? She's eating lunch before her stream. She wanted to eat. Uh, yeah. She said if you'd listen to women. That's very true. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I do listen to women so much that I was... I probably didn't hear it because I was listening to other women as well. I just <laughs> name yeah, name five women. Me. Name five women. Anya Taylor-Joy, uh, Amelia Earhart, um, Hillary Clinton, um, uh, Obama's <laughs> wife... Um, uh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's funny for like 10 reasons. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Uh, Am I wrong? Well, yeah, but her name's Obama too. <laughs> I had a short circuit. I had a short circuit, and I was like, "What's her name? Mashallah." <laughs> I didn't want to say that out loud. Uh, Marshmallow mm -hmm. Obama. Uh, what? I can't Jesus see. Christ. I can't see any of the instruments. That's horseshit. I'm owning. I'm actually me. owning. I fucking blew it. Corey fucked me, I'm sending him to hell. I know! Him. This dude's like, I can't see, we can't fucking hear, bro! <laughs> <laughs> bro, I didn't miss any, but I didn't get first? I didn't miss any! <laughs> Fuck you. Eat my ass, Joe. <laughs> oh. 
Joe Bama's wife. Please. <laughs> you named five women in the speed that I did. <laughs> no, you've already fucking failed. Because now you've given yourself too much time to think about it. I was, I was already done. These are the boys' wants. Ready to lead him into blissful slumber? It's a pepperoni pizza. And two episodes of Better Call Saul. Snuff out the patient's wants. Okay, what do they want? Bread and circuses, happiness, comfort, love, success, admiration, peace of mind, that slice of pizza lying in the fridge. I'm two for two, man. What can I say? I know people. He's so back. In some ways, I never left. It's not a surprise. No lie, I swear. The guys behind me in the library just said, your sister likes sushi. The other guy re replied, it's a girl thing. Sometimes, to the feeble mind, there's no difference between being wrong and being early. But to my mind, there is a difference. All of the needles and all the magnetic compasses on Earth are pointing to me having my finger on the pulse of society. I'm telling you, man. <clears throat> my wife, my wife, it scrolled down. I was, my wife did come home yesterday from work and instantly asked for us to get sushi. Now, anecdote is not a singular form of data. That being said, we don't have anything in the, anybody's wife come home yesterday and say, let's get pizza. Do we have two married individuals in chat? That would be unlikely. I'm going to assume the answer is no. This is the part where he ignores every comment that doesn't support him. Well, yeah, because the comments that don't support me are like people LARPing. The comments that do support me are real lived experiences from the real world. The rest of it is just like this doesn't vibe with what I read on social media. People are coming in here with a story that's like I was out in the world today. Check out what I observed. It's observable phenomenon. It's science. Then other people are like, mm, that doesn't sound like what goes down in my Discord server. Who would you put more emphasis on? Is it even fair to compare sushi and pizza when one costs 3x the other one? That's true, DL Guiga, but what are you trying to say there? There are times when I grocery shop where I'm like, I should really just eat pizza every day. As a bachelor, one large pizza and some discipline can actually feed you for like two and a half days. And it's like $9.99. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that you would slowly get malnutrition and suffer ill effects and then eventually perish, like, you could eat pretty cheap on that. Or you, you could eat it in one meal too. That's why I, I threw in the second element, obviously. Pizza and a multivitamin. And a nicotine patch for when I start jogging. Exactly. <clears throat> Wife is away on a big business trip with lots of foods she's never had before. Guess what she's gonna get? I just shouldn't have read that. I, I thought it was a real question. And then when I got to the end, I was like, it's a, it's a trap. I'm not answering that. It's legit true though. I know. You know it. I know it. We just can't say it. People aren't ready for it yet. One day they will be. I'm back on the, the defensive from a public relations standpoint, okay? So I can't be courting controversy like that. We gotta keep it very copacetic this week. We gotta be very friendly for the rest of the week. We can be toxic again starting on Monday. For now, we're saying to each according to their own... Wait, what is it? <laughs> you, she can have sushi if she wants to. That's what I'm saying. And you can have sushi if you want to. Lots of people love sushi. You know why? It's delicious. Rip to the Unabomber, you would have loved the rainbow roll. It's called the roll, it's called the rainbow roll. It is the roll where you go when you dine. It's the roll called the rainbow roll. It's got salmon, tuna, and something yellow. It's the roll called the rainbow roll. You go there. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little classic uh, internet for you. I don't know if that's old YouTube. Very old YouTube. Ah, it's got Princess Peach Mario and the Toad. It's got tuna salmon and fish roe. Yeah, that would work. You got you got to work on your flow a little bit, but uh, I've got to work on my flow, I should say. 
Um, Chats asked me to ask you your sushi take, but after this fight, you're okay. not ready for the sushi take. Oh. It's it's Miles Morales. He's right. I don't think it's, nice. it's not fair that they let Miles Morales jump higher. There's a bush coming for us. I threw so hard. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm impressed you got the first guy. I think those guys are... I think it was Ninja and Tifu. They were not good at all. <laughs> did you, did you land the shot on them? They nah, were, they he was just eating them. Oh. Oh. Um, what's your sushi take? My take is that women like sushi more than men do. I say that as someone who loves sushi. I feel like if you were to ask, if you were to take the median answer... The median answer, if you asked a woman in our demographic what she wants for dinner tonight, she would say, I don't know, how about sushi? And if you took the median take from a man in our demographic, they would say, how, how are you feeling about pizza? All right, I'm going to test this theory. Okay, text your wife Hold right on. now. No, I'm going to do you one better. You're going to text my wife? No. <laughs> Now, Chad... No matter what, if, if Dan's experiment bears this out, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be insufferable because I was right. And if Dan's experiment doesn't bear this out, then I'm going to say... Hey, what's going on? I have a quick question for you. So let's say, I know we have like plans tonight for date night and it's kind of already set, but if you could have like on an average date night, if you could have what one food that you would love to have, what would it be like, say genre of food? Italian. Okay, thanks. Or or yeah. Sushi. <laughs> oh, okay. Love you. <laughs> but did you hear that? Was Ryan? that real? <laughs> yeah, that did, real? Did she really <laughs> correct and say sushi? <laughs> yes. Let's go, dude. <laughs> you don't know how many half ironic and half serious people I've had to deal with that are like, when did you become a misogynist? And my wife's as normy as it gets, man. Oh, you know? <laughs> man. <laughs> You didn't text her or anything and say like, hey, say sushi? Nope, no, oh. no. <laughs> Holy. Wait, well, your chat was giving you a hard time over that? Well, it's just like like 90 people that were like, it's a joke. And then there's origin that's like, it's sexist. And I'm like, yeah, it's sexist. It's not misogynistic. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's literally sexist, but it's not like anti-woman. I mean, Origin's a type of mod to go to Seinfeld and heckle Seinfeld. You know, like that's what do you what are you gonna say? Um, but side note, so what? But what would you say for dinner? Mexican. Okay. See, I would just say meat. <laughs> <laughs> that's not helpful. Like, meat? You can't just say meat. What do you want to eat for dinner? Meat? <laughs> yeah, meat. Like it's like that's to... ev every cuisine has some almost every cuisine at least has some like, variant of meat in it. Like primary meat, like I don't like necessarily a want. It. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't have to be. Yeah, but that's not. I mean, like you got to work together to come up with what to eat for dinner, right? You can't just say meat. It's yeah. like if I said vegetables, you know. Yeah, but you wouldn't just say vegetables. No, I would say Mexican because I'm trying to be helpful. Hmm. And then when that got shot down, I would say, "What about sushi?" Because I love my wife. <laughs> and she would be like, "If that's what you want." My wife's got a. Uh... She's got a, a yellow moon on Discord. What am I supposed to do? Saw her in and I saw it say. Yellow moon means she's away. None of you stand so tall. Yellow moon means no Discord call. It's a yellow moon. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yellow, yellow, yellow moon.